ladies and gentlemen. I now declare these games open. It's really not just about finals or medals. You just you are part of something that that is so unique and and, and that you work really hard for as well. And uh, it's just it really is life changing. I mean, I will I will I hope to speak to my children and grandchildren about it for years to come because it's something I'm I'm very blessed with. What a moment it is for this youngster who's crying his eyes out. Jim Peters staggers into the arms of Team Masser Mick May. We recognise and want to celebrate today our distinctive ability to connect, empower and create a lasting legacy for nations, communities and citizens through the world-class sporting stage that is the Commonwealth Games. So I think the Commonwealth Games is the most visible part of what the Commonwealth is all about at least one that reaches um, the most number of people across the world. We extend the hand of friendship and a warm invitation to join us in Queensland and City of the Gold Coast 2018. We are to welcome all of the athletes, 6,500 from across the Commonwealth, to state-of-the-art venues, a state-of-the-art village, and of course we have that typical Australian passion for sport, our great hospitality. Queenslanders are very welcoming people, so I'm sure the game's going to be a great success. It's South Africa. In order for us to stay relevant and to resonate, we need to appeal to our greater Commonwealth. The games have never been held on the African continent, and Durban is an ideal host. Wonderful coastal city, fantastic ambition, hugely historically significant in terms of the, the South African Bill of Rights, but also in terms of its sheer ambition in, in, in relation to peace, sustainability and prosperity for South Africa and the continent, Durban is such a great partner.